This is the time when Iago's plan to ensnare Cassio really starts to get going. Iago directs Cassio to ask Desdemona to help him get his job back, as she still has a huge influence on Othello. Desdemona and Cassio are good friends, and she wants to help him. She assures him that she will plead his case to her husband. Just as Desdemona and Cassio are deep in conversation, Othello and Iago arrive. Cassio is still too ashamed of himself to speak to Othello, so he quickly leaves. Iago jumps at the chance to twist the situation and explains that Cassio must have something to hide, or else he wouldn't slink away like a guilty man. Desdemona begins to plead Cassio's case, unaware that her husband now has a greater reason to dislike him. Othello has a lot to think through now, so he asks to be left alone. When they are alone, Iago begins to spin his web of deceit and reminds Othello of how close Desdemona and Cassio have always been. He insinuates that perhaps theirs is more than just a friendship and they might be having an affair. Iago's artistry as a manipulator is clear here, as he presents himself as friend to everyone, while really enacting his own evil plan to destroy them. Suspicious, Othello asks Iago to have Emilia watch Desdemona and Cassio closely to see if there is any sign of their infidelity. Othello considers his worst fears, that Desdemona no longer loves him because he is too old for her, because he is black, and because he has the rough manners of a soldier rather than a nobleman. He works himself up into a headache 